welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I went pretty natural. I'm not even wearing false lashes, like what is happening to me. But I tried to recreate the J Lo look, you know, the picture where she had like sleek hair and then a red lip, very neutral eyes. Of course, the collaboration with Inglot, and this is how it look like. So if you want to see what I use, it is a very simple tutorial. So that being said, keep on watching. Alrighty, let's get started. I actually think this is going to be the most natural look I've ever done on my channel. So the eyes, it will be quick. Already did my brows, have some concealer on my eyelids and of course some powder. And I'm going to start off with the shade Rich Gold, which is a kind of a brown shade with a little bit of gold shimmer in it. I'm going to use my Sigma E40 brush and I am going to apply this in my upper crease but mainly on the outer part. And yes, applying shimmery eyeshadow in my crease. So I'm gently going to apply this like a tiny bit. I'm going to be very, very careful because the look she's wearing is extremely natural. So no harsh lines, no liner, just a little bit of shadow and of course a lot of shimmer, which is of course my favorite part. And normally I would blend the eyeshadow, but now I'm actually patting on the product onto my eyelid because I'll look, onto my eyelid because I want it to be very very sheer and I'm also gonna apply it a little bit on the outer part of the eye and because I'm darker than JLo I have to take a darker eyeshadow just to give me a little bit more a definition because it's not really showing I'm switching brushes to the Sigma E25 and I'm taking the shade Cafe Ole and I'm just going to pat it into my lower crease an outer part of the eye be gentle Yeah, so I think this will be enough. Then I'm going to take my MAC 242 brush and the highlighter, Live in the Highlight in Radiant, and I'm going to highlight my brow bone, but I'm also going to apply this on the inner part of my eye, on my eyelid. And this is a loose highlighter, so please wet your brush because otherwise the highlighter will be all over the place. Applying a little bit here, just a tiny, tiny amount. Believe it or not, but we are done with the eyes, like with the eyeshadow. So it's time for lashes, and normally I would apply falsies, but on the picture she was not wearing false lashes, well at least I think. It was just mascara. I don't have her mascara, but I do have the one I like. This is my favorite, the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And uh, normally I curl my eyelashes, but I don't know where my eyelash curler is. So we're just gonna do it like this. All right, so mascara is on. Let's now move on to uh, the face. Because I wanted to keep it very glowy, I am going to prime my face using this Smashbox Primer Oil. And I'm using about four drops of this stuff. If you have oily skin, um, you know that this is not going to be your friend, right? And I'm also going to use a little bit of the Benefit Professional, but not on my entire face, just on certain areas, like around here, just to fill my pores. I have a pimple right here. Don't know what she's doing right there, but... And on my nose. And for foundation, I'm going to use 
the Shape Cape by Tarte. And I have the hydrating one in medium tan honey. And let's blend it out. For concealer, I'm using the Soft Complete Matte. I think that's the name by NARS in the shade Ginger. This is still one of my favorite concealers ever. Very hydrating and not cakey. Um, of course, I do love Tarte Shape Tape. It is a very good concealer, but the consistency of that concealer is pretty thick, and sometimes I don't really like that. Then to highlight, I'm going to use a Light Boost by MAC. Oh my god, I wasn't recording. Anyway, I set my under eyes using the RCMA Translucent Powder and I used the MAC 240S brush. This one. Okay, going back into the eyes and I'm using the first color Rich Gold in a Sigma E30 and I'm applying it a little bit underneath my lash line um, just so that the upper part is connected with the lower part. Not too much, just a little bit. And for my waterline, I'm taking this Catrice Cosmetics All Around Beautifying Concealer Eyelid Pencil. Wow. And I don't know, a light shade. I don't see anything, but that's fine. Applying some uh, mascara on my lower lashes. I know that this sounds weird, but I have such long lashes underneath um, that I actually do not like it. I wish they were a bit shorter, but I'm afraid to cut them because I'm afraid that they will <laughs> grow longer. Because sometimes it's just not pretty to have like extremely long lashes underneath because it kind of looks like a spider. All right, to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder in medium two, just a tiny amount. That's enough. Then to contour and bronze my face, I'm going in with the J. Lil Coco One Sculpting Powder and a Morphe M530. And I am going to be very generous with it because of course, we want to have that J.Lo glow, we want to have that J.Lo bronze look, we want to have everything from J.Lo, but I don't have more than her makeup, so gotta work with it. So we don't want to contour, I just want it to be like very bronzed, so I'm not gonna bake, I'm just gonna apply this very generous all over my face. Almost all over my face. That's bronze, right? Adding a little bit of blush, this is Charmed. Just a tiny amount. This is actually already too much. And I don't think I wanna have blush, by the way, but it's already on my face, so. And then, of course, my favorite part is highlighting. And I'm using a Live in the Highlight in Radiant. And I'm going to use a Anastasia brush. Just a little bit. I think I'm gonna use my finger just a little bit on top of my eyebrows. And I'm also taking this highlighter on a Sigma E47 brush and applying it on the inner corners of my eye. Like very generous again. And before I am going in with a lips, I don't know why I did that, but I'm going to first use the Iconic London Prep Set Glow in, I think it's also called Glow or Bronze, I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna spray it all over my face. That's not glowy, that's just wet, so I'm gonna let it dry for 30 seconds or maybe one hour because I sprayed a lot, probably too much, but you know. 
And of course, the red lip. This is in the shade Besame, and I am going to use a Cherry Lip Liner by MAC. Oh my god, this is so sharp that it's actually tickling. But this is a gorgeous color. I like that. This is actually my first time wearing a red lip and it's not a matte one, so... Alright guys, so I'm quickly going to do my hair and then I will be right back. So yeah guys, this was my JLo inspired makeup look. Very natural. I don't think I could go any more natural on my eyes than I did today. So I hope you enjoyed watching it and I want to thank you so much for watching.